A cloudy, rainy morning in Chicago has turned into a glorious afternoon, and we welcome you to Soldier Field, where the Washington Redskins come to town to take on the Chicago Bears. Morris show offensively through a quarter and a half for the Bears, and not a way to start it. On this drive as D'Angelo Hall steps in front of the Jay Cutler pass and snatches it away. And that should never happen. Devin Hester has got to come back to the quarterback on that and if nothing else break up the pass. Safety right here. D'Angelo Hall had no safety help whatsoever. Cutler gets the ball out on time. Initially it looked like it was going to be an easy reception but D'Angelo Hall cheats on the route comes underneath it. With those other 10 guys and he plays the best he can. Nice open field tackle made by D'Angelo Hall and a big third down upcoming. Blitz coming. And D'Angelo Hall snatches it away and races down the sideline with a man to beat. He got a block and Hall will go the distance. My oh my. Flag came in during the return on the far side of the field, right in front of the Washington bench. This return, will it come back or will it stand? A 92 yard interception return for a touchdown if it stands. During the return of the interception, personal foul number 73, Chicago. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Score is good. You're going to see Carlos Rogers here is going to come on the blitz and as a result of that Cutler's thrown off his back foot and it's a ball he just threw in behind he couldn't he had no chance of completing that pass but he's trying to give Johnny Knox a chance but because it's behind him you got D'Angelo Hall then who's breaking on the ball from the inside out. Touchdown in the career of D'Angelo Hall. And Cutler and the Bears respond after this body blow. Third interception for D'Angelo Hall. And the question bears repeating. Which team wants to win this game? Well, you see Jay Cutler, Johnny Knox has got to stay on the route. You're going to see that D'Angelo Hall breaks across his face but Johnny Knox has got to stay on the move you can't when there's a route that's contested you can't just then stop on the route because that's what happens when you do last five possessions for Chicago each possession ending in a turnover you know, March just looks like he's a, about to vomit over there on the sidelines with everything that's happened. Jay Cutler was going there right from the snap of the ball, and this is Mike March's reaction to it all. Deep ball. D'Angelo Hall with his fourth interception of the game. So much was written last week in the loss to Indianapolis about all the dropped interceptions by the Redskins secondary. Not today. Well, watch D'Angelo Hall. He turns and bails right at the snap of the ball, and so there was never a chance to complete this one. You know, Jay Cutler wants to take a shot, but there's not there's no double move to get D'Angelo Hall to jump it. And as I said earlier, what D'Angelo likes to do is clue the quarterback. So he's watching Jay this entire time. And then Jay throws one up, but Johnny Knox never got up on top of D'Angelo Hall. There was never an opportunity to complete that pass. I'm surprised that that Jay turned it loose the way he did. It ties an NFL record. Fourth interception. And all of them have been in the second half. That has to be a record. Four INTs and a half. Season win. That's the 16th most in the history of the league. So a homecoming for Shanahan for McNabb. And they beat the Red where the Redskins beat the Bears. Final count of 17 to 14.
with some bonus coverage coming your way. And we're back to wrap it up after these messages. Redskins win it 17 14 in Chicago. Game had it all nine turnovers 17 14 Redskins win it.